looks good. Now that. today, St Pancras, uh, been here all day, just having a mooch about and filming, um, just, yeah I mean, you know people just think it's, a, it's like a thoroughfare, you know it's a place you just go to, to go to London, so you come here and you go straight on the underground or straight in a cab and you're off, but it's got a lot to offer this place. It's about time I had an Indian, so that's where we're going. Look at that building behind me. Look. There's a hotel in there as well. We're in uh, Gray's Inn Road, which is the main road that goes all the way from St Pancras to Chancery Lane. So the road's about a mile long and Chancery Lane is an underground uh, station near Farringdon. Farringdon is one of the new stations for the uh, Elizabeth Line. But yeah, we're off, off today for some Indian food. A long time coming, it's been a while, uh, I've had a lot of requests, so I'm going to the Indian Lounge. Blimey, that's not bad, is it? Three ninety nine. The chicken chili fry. Chicken for chili fry, so yeah. For the starters. Yeah. The vindaloo. Yeah, I, I don't know whether to have chicken or lamb. Because you're having your chicken, have a lamb. Because you're having your chicken on the the chicken chili fry. Yeah. If you have the lamb, that will give you Yeah. Taste, yeah, let's go for yeah. that then. Okay, yeah. Lamb vindaloo, yeah. Very hot, yeah? Yeah. So I'm gonna go just pilo rice. Yes, rice, yeah. 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 What beer do you have? A cobra, sir. Do you have a small? Yeah, we have a small beer. I'll have a small well, cobra, small, please. Cobra, yeah. yeah. And some papa to you start? Papa yeah, sure, yeah. Yes. Two? Yeah, two's fine. Two Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. touch. I saw someone online. I think it was uh, TikTok or Instagram and the guy was showing you how to pour beer properly he said if you pour it with a tilted glass really slow so there's no overflow on it he said yeah it looks great but all the fizz stays in the beer now if you pour it quickly into a glass all the fizz comes out and then it's easier on your stomach how about that yeah, I was quite impressed. I saw it and it, it does make sense. 
Cheers. Strips of chicken with uh, red peppers and chili sauce. Yeah, that's a nice start. That's nice. Really good. So nice. Cool, you can really taste that lamb. That's good. That's tender. Really tender. <sighs> Feel the, the heat. Yeah, it's a nice vindaloo that. Because you can taste everything. You know? Because it's done with the spices and chilies rather than just chili powder.
that's really really good get a bit a bit warm but for those of you that like hot curries you'll understand that you can't get enough of it even though the the heat comes on you just want more oh no, I'm crazy Yeah, now that I've got a tingling tongue, which I've not had for a while, and it's uh, it's a nice tingle. But um, yeah, that was great. Nice uh, lamb vindaloo, pillow ice, which I don't normally have. I normally have boiled or mushroom. Um, didn't have any bread because um, I just didn't, didn't want any today. Uh, a couple of papa doms, dips were great. Lamb's so tender. Um, yeah, yeah, it was off the charts. Because I'm trying to fault it, I'm looking around going, yeah, but no, there's no butts. So there you go. finish it here instead of going outside because I'm just going to finish off my Papa Dums. It's called Indian sure. Lounge um, off Grazing, well it's in Grazing Road um, almost opposite um, Kings Cross Station, St Pancras so easy to find and downstairs is amazing. I'll show you it's like a an Indian garden with fish in the pond and got it all going on downstairs but yeah yeah what a great what a great little curry so for now from Indian Lounge I'll see you in the next one I'm going down to Farringdon. So I'm walking down Grazing Road and found this. See, I just love finding things in London all the time. You spend a lifetime uh, going around London and you'll never see it all. Incidentally, for those of you who give a monkeys, the Indian food was 28 quid. So drink, poppadoms, rice, and vindaloo. There you go. Um, I would, the only thing I'd say is, uh, I, I would have probably expected the portions to be slightly bigger. But there you go. Um, tasted amazing. So yeah, give it a try. There's actually three Indian restaurants next door to each other there. Competition, eh?